video, we'll be doing a review of Olaplex's brand new number eight intense moisture mask. Hair has already been prepped with the number zero and number three, and I shampooed with the number four. I actually picked up the entire collection, so if you would like to see a full review of the Olaplex system, leave me a comment down below and I will do that for you guys. So this mask is infused with the patented Olaplex Bond building technology and is a highly concentrated reparative mask that adds shine, smoothness, and body while providing intense moisture to treat damaged hair. It is great for straight, wavy, curly, and coily hair of all different textures. This mask was very lightweight and lightly fragranted. It had like a citrusy scent to me. It was very pleasing, nothing overwhelming, and a little bit goes a long way. I used about two, two and a half pumps for each half of my head. Directions say apply to clean, damp hair mid-length to ends and work through with fingers. Start with two pumps for shoulder length hair. Use more for longer, thicker hair, less for fine or short hair. Leave on for 10 minutes, rinse fully, and style as usual. As a product tip for deeper repair, use with number zero intensive bond building hair treatment and number three hair perfecter once a week or as needed. This product is vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free, and comes in recyclable packaging, but dimethicone is the second ingredient for those ingredient conscious folks out there. This does retail for $28 and you get 3.3 fluid ounces. Like I said, a little bit goes a long way, so I didn't use much at all, and I will get plenty more uses out of this container. I did pay special attention to the heat damage part of my hair because I wanted to make sure this hair is repaired, okay? Once the mask was fully applied, I just left it on for 10 minutes uncovered and I did not sit under a dryer. And my hair it didn't really soak it up, but my hair felt incredibly soft even before I rinsed the conditioner out. And of course, this is what my hair looks like once rinsed out. I'm gonna insert some footage from my last wash day just to see if you can tell a difference between the shine and even the volume that I got just from using this intense mask one time. It's definitely something you have to use over time, but I'm pleased with my results from the first try. And this is my final result of my wash and go. I feel like my hair looks amazing. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything else. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one.